to organise your thoughts. <laughs> yeah, without becoming completely overwhelmed by them. Exactly. How easy it is to kind of get into a mess with your mind and your thoughts and really not know what what's going on in your in your brain yeah that's what we're going to be talking about in, in today's this week's episode, episode of yes get, get real, real with the english sisters, sisters. Violetta and yudka zugo <laughs> okay yeah i mean i was finding it difficult the other day because i had so much to do and I was like, my, my mind was skipping from one thought to the next. And yeah. I didn't really know how to. That just, can happen. Know, I was finding that I was like dropping things. I was oh. making some pancakes. and then... Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I know that and then, feeling. <laughs> and all the, what, all and the all mixture th- fell over and it fell all over the floor. Right. And it's because I was thinking about so many things. And I was also anxious about one or two of them. So Yeah, yeah, that can happen. You know, you just, you get into a bit of a tiz, don't you? Yeah. Like a little whirlwind. Ooh, and there's so much to do. And and the, the same can happen when you have not enough to do as well. So, you know, watch out for this. <laughs> because if you're bored and you actually have not enough to do, yeah. your mind can also become over-anxious about, you know, that one thing that you may have to do. Yes. So, so it can be, it can work both ways. You know, it can become like over, you can overthink it. I think it's like a bit of a balancing act. Yes, as it has with everything. <laughs> it's always a balance, isn't it? It's always balance. Because you can have, you can have like organise your thoughts, but you can have one thought that kind of overrides all other thoughts and it doesn't let your other thoughts have any room. And it's well, like especially a, it's like if a it's a recurring thought. If it's a an preoccupa- anxiety. Yeah, an anxiety, a concern. Mm-hmm. Like you may have to go in for surgery yes. or one of your loved ones may have to go mm. in for surgery and you're really concerned about that. So obviously that thought can be like become an invasive thought and yeah. it's not going to be helpful to you in the present moment for you to constantly think about that. It's only going to cause more anxiety. So what do you do? Right. You know, you can say it's easier said than done, especially if you're really worried about somebody. And well, concerned. yeah, I think you have to take a deep breath and then you have to say, OK, one step at a time. Absolutely. So what uh, what do I have to do today? What's on, on my to-do list today? And then you'll find that the more you get done on in that day, the happier you'll be. And, and the less you'll be worrying about that recurring thought. Yeah. Yeah. And I think don't also don't let your you you know your mind race ahead. So say if it is a surgery you're going for, don't allow yourself to start thinking, yeah, but what if it doesn't go well, or what if the outcome? Then there's another thing I have to yes. do after that. Yeah. No, just get that one thing done, done and dusted. Exactly. Yeah, do one thing, one step at a time. So just think about what is it today that you have to do. I suppose it goes back to being mindful, doesn't it? Always being in the present moment. In the present, how am I actually feeling today without any of these concerns? Yeah, but how Ask do you co- compartmentalise, as they say? You know, how do you put them into like these thoughts? Because I always imagine it a bit like a room in my mind, mm. and I always think, okay, this is. Like in the front of my mind is all the most important stuff that I've got to get done today. Mm. And then somehow if there is a concern, like my son actually does have to have a surgery and Mm. I am very, very worried about it. You know, Mm. I'm concerned, but I can't do anything about it today. No. Because it's occurring next week. Mm. So what I have to do is today put that thought like in the back room of my mind you know in a room and I can actually close the door on that thought Mm. for today and and then you know try not to peek inside that room (laughs) too much because otherwise what will happen is throughout the day like what happened to me yesterday and I'm a therapist Mm. is that I kept on like peeking back into that room and, and and looking and seeing and no no, 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 no! It wasn't helpful to me. So I <laughs> That's say it's not helpful. It's, it's best to keep the door shut if you can. Just keep the door shut. Otherwise, if you do have a peek, oh my gosh, you're human. You know, yeah, it's but normal. Just but... for a few minutes. Exactly. Limit it. Limit it. That's right. It's not about dwelling. It's no. not about 
keeping your full day concerned yeah. with that because then it's consuming literally mentally physically and 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 it's going to use up all your energy isn't it and it's stealing time from you precious time exactly you could be thinking about more pleasurable things and doing more pleasure and having pleasure and having like family time enjoying life as it is today exactly i mean like even my son who is going to have his operation next week on a Monday mm. he said okay on a Saturday I'm going fishing because I but want to enjoy it off you hasn't he, he has but I was so proud of him I yeah. thought yes get the most of your lovely have a lovely fishing day and then you know don't at first I freaked out and I thought oh god you're not going fishing you know <laughs> gosh you've got no, to have but when sex. you told me that I thought great for him yeah Good yeah for him. yeah exactly so I thought I thought he's learned well he's because learned well. we learned that lesson when mum and dad were so ill yes. we couldn't just have no. our whole lives consumed by that one thought of will they die are they going to get better are they no. going to suffer we just had to enjoy the moment and try and be you know loving and kind and be exactly, with them exactly yes yes so that's a good and also I think like a lot of the fears that we have we all have they never actually realize or they don't no. they don't manifest themselves in the same way as as terribly as we, no, we predict you're absolutely right so in no. the end it's usually all okay and if it's not hey I mean you'll deal with it when the time yeah. comes yeah yeah but yeah. we don't have to be dealing with things for years and years and years or before weeks or and after. weeks and weeks because it just it's just you know it's not a good way to organize your thoughts really. no it's not so definitely if you can imagine you know this back room i yeah, would say open the door house, yeah. yeah you can put them in there you know wherever you want in the room there could be a trunk or something <laughs> you know you can visualize whatever suits you best a cupboard or, or just a room and you can just put them in there and place them in there knowing that they're you know, safe. they're safe. Yeah, it's not like you're ignoring them. No. When the time comes, you'll you'll think about that, but not right now. In this moment, you don't have to think about that. Yeah, and the same way when the, when the time comes. Yes, when so the it's time one step at a time. Yes, when the time comes, you open the room <laughs> and you say, "Okay, let me get organized for today. What yeah. do I have to do to get ready to get go. ready to prep for this? Whatever, whatever it is, job interview. I mean, yeah. we're saying surgery because I was thinking personally about my surgery. Yeah. I mean, my son's surgery. Yeah, but so. it could be a job interview or or anything, a date that's getting you really nervous. Any anything that anything. you find is. That like overtaking your thoughts and you keep sneakily going back <laughs> yeah. just say hey okay this thought I'm going to put you in the back room for now exactly shut the door and I'm going to think about other things and enjoy life and do yeah. other things yeah if it helps coffee. you can write things down yeah. like uh, write it down what you were supposed to be doing today what you want to do today mm. who you want to spend time with you know, you prioritise that way, don't you? Yeah, and I think always put something nice in your day as well. So whether it's watching your favourite TV series or going out with a friend or having a nice chat with someone, always, you know, schedule something really lovely in your day as well. Yes. Or even if it's just having a coffee somewhere, I don't know, or a drink that you like. And also when you do go and meet that friend or that family member, try and keep, you can express your concerns, obviously, because you're supposed to share, you know, they yeah. do say that a worry shared is a worry halved, is that it? Something like that. Something, a problem shared uh, is a problem halved. Halved, that's it, yeah. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, but you can also like keep it in keep with... Keep it short. Yes. Keep it short and sweet because otherwise it'll end up just your whole conversation will just be around that and it won't actually make you feel any better. No, it won't. That's the thing is the person can offer you comfort and empathy but if you just speak about that for the entire meeting or three hours or whatever time you've got, you won't allow time for other fun things to yeah, enter the conversation. creative thoughts that you might have that might make you feel a lot better. Yeah, so allow for that time, for the hug or whatever, or put, you know, your friends, your family to support you and to help you. Mm. But then also allow for other things to enter because they're healing for you as yeah. well at this particular time. They are healing because yeah. our, our lives are so complex and there's so many parts to us that we can really, even if we are going through something, we can still enjoy something else exactly. at the same time. Not it doesn't mean no. that it's just one or the other. They 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 can be two together. Yes. 
that yes. you can enjoy. That is so true. There are two together. There's always like the yin and the yang. Yes, it's it? always something else. You it's could a balance. Yeah, you could be doing something yucky that you really hate doing, <laughs> but then I mean like for me going for a lovely cappuccino oh, yes. and oh that <laughs> definitely puts a you know, ah, oh, that's... I want that, to enjoy one after this. <laughs> yeah, it, it balances things out for me. Yeah. You know, and for you, whatever balances it out for you, definitely. Yeah. And sometimes even a little, taking a little walk, if you find that you can't, um, like, you can't put it in the back door, just take a little walk and... That's a really good thing, Maybe you can yeah. put it in your favourite tree or something on that walk and then bring it back when you need to. Yes, you can. You know, you can a change of your someone, environment can be scenery. very helpful. Yeah, change of scenery, absolutely. Yeah, that's why they often say, you know, another saying, you know, go for a walk, think mm. it out. Change is as good as a rest. Yes, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're coming up with all the old sayings today, but yes, absolutely. That that's a very good idea. You know, remember that you can also just change your space, even just changing room. Like yes. in your home, in your office space, walking out, going down the corridor, going outside a minute. Yeah. I was also thinking now, of, you know, when it's like it's autumn, it's fall, it's back to school. Yes. For all the mums that are worried about sending yeah. their kids back as well. You know, just, yeah, there's it, change, there's isn't there? There's a lot there? of there's change lot going change. on. But it's also a time of great creativity and new new things happening so just take a moment to just enjoy these these special moments and everything does have like a silver lining I think I always look at life like that that there's there's a silver lining to everything well there's and something to be learned there's something to be learned from every experience that we live mm. so there is valuable feedback in everything we live through and it makes us wiser doesn't it ultimately it it, it it shapes you as a person mm -hmm. and if you learn from it you can you can keep that as a beautiful valuable experience for you to learn how to cope with similar things that may happen in your life in the future mm -hmm. and um you know everything yeah. else same with chronic illness if you are suffering from any chronic illness you'll know that you can only take it, you know, literally a few days at a time. Because mm. if you overthink it, it can become completely overwhelming. Yeah, it can get you down. So just think of it as one day at a time. And one. always look forward to, <laughs> to something to good. smiles in that day, to something nice, something yes. pleasant. You know, maybe listening to your favourite podcast. Yeah. Just any, any little thing that you find. Time alone, doing. yeah, whatever it is. So let us know what you think. If, it, if you find it difficult to organise your thoughts, uh, we can also help you with that with our hypnotherapy sessions uh, and coaching sessions. So do come and come and say hi. On uh, you can also comment on Spotify, Apple Podcasts. Leave us a review, which very much appreciated. And c come and see the video too, because there's a video of this on YouTube as well on our YouTube channel, yes. The English Sisters. So lots of love and smiles from the English, English sisters. sisters. Bye bye. bye.